That wasn't very good. That was good. So your giants were also much better on that one. Come on. Legs. That was better. Did it pop? Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Ew. That's a huge rip. Yeah. Might want to clean that up. Yeah. You need to put peroxide on it. Okay. It's going to stain, but it already does. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, I'll get some. Do you have some peroxide? Yeah. Ready? No. I got you some Should stuff. I clip it off first? It's actually not bad. Okay. That's good. A little bit on yeah. this side. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, our goals for Madison was um, to do the world team, to be in the to be in a team and and to do the best and to contribute to to the success of Team USA. That's uh, that's the main goal. You need to to reach for the stars. I would say. I mean, uh, this is the the only goal right now. It's it's world and championship. That's what keep those girls in the gym. You know, it's it's very tough. Uh, at this elite level to to have uh, just short-term goals. You need to have short-term, but you need to have that ultimate goal that motivates you every every day. Going into 2014, my goals were um, to get as many international assignments as I can so that I can gain more experience because I had been out um, of like competing for a while. And so my main goals were, of course, to make Pan Ams and Worlds but just have like a successful season that I knew I did my best in. Going to the Jezlo meet, I wasn't training all four events because my wrist couldn't take all of the vault, so I just did three events. The selection camp before that wasn't as great as I wanted it to be, so I wasn't officially like on the team, but um, I was still traveling. We were just, uh, Rachel and I, we were paired up with some other girls that didn't have a team. And so it was kind of like you were competing just to gain experience and just doing it for yourself also. So it was really nice to make um, bars finals and then to win bars there because it um, gives you more confidence going into the rest of the year. I was pleased with my performance in Jeslo. Um, I had a little mistake on beam, but I remember um, winning bars definitely kind of outshined everything.
the Jeslo meet, I competed with the team and we got first place. I fell on beam though in the team competition and I was not very happy about that. I was like, next time I'm gonna do better, I'm gonna be more confident. And then I made the floor final and Michaela Skinner made the beam final. And so we switched because we were like, no, those are like the opposite events. And I made my beam the second day and I had some wobbles though and I was a little disappointed with those wobbles, but I was glad that I made my routine because it was my first international competition. I think when we started with her was a let's see how far she can go. There's no stopping point. Is you coach them and they catch up on skills faster. You know, you feed them and they keep eating it. And so you're like, okay, let's keep doing, doing. And then they go where they can go. Finally, when she made the national team, she started going to camp. And that's when she changed for her, that she started looking around and was like, you know what, I can't do it. You know, I'm not so far behind everybody else right now. And, and Marta believed in her and really liked her and needed her on beam, so she felt a little bit more powerful in a way that, okay, if she says that I belong here, maybe I truly do, you know, because my coach is, yeah, but coming from Marta, I think it's different. I think it was a Jessalo that she told her, you're a very pretty gymnast, but you've got to hit. It's not just only pretty anymore. It's, you know, you have to be consistent for me. I, I like what you do, you're beautiful, but I need you to compete as well as you look. At PNG this year, even the first day of training, she came there and usually <laughs> we call that cuckoo stuff. Um, she does, you know, she will split the beam, she will do a weird turn on bars, and she didn't do that. She had a goal, and it was in her head, and that was nowhere else, and she wanted to be successful. PNG Championships. I only competed two events because I was still coming off of my ankle injury that was at Classics. So I just knew I needed to hit bars and beam both days, which I did, so that was really good and it definitely boosted my confidence and I knew that I could make the Pan Ams team that they selected after that and I wanted to make the Pan Ams team because it was just another international experience that I could gain confidence going into the World's Camp. First day of PNGs went really well. I hit my beam routine really well, and I was really happy with that. For the first time at championship, I saw her so confident, and I got, I remember after the first day, so many text messages from former coaches she, like, she had, or all here saying, oh my gosh, she looked like terrific, like world-class gymnastics. We started on beam the second day, I'm pretty sure, and I hit my beam routine and I got the same score, so I was really happy with that. Then on floor, I hit my floor routine and got the same score. I was like, okay, am I gonna repeat day, day one? And then on vault, I got a 10th higher. I did a better double full. And I was happy with first three events that day and I was going to bars and I felt like I had it. And then on my shaposh, I missed the bar and I felt some tingling in my elbow and I got up and I was like, Laurent, my elbow doesn't feel right. And then he was like, can you finish your routine? And I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm finishing. I've already done three good events today. I'm gonna place the all around. And he was like, are you sure you can finish? I'm like, 
Yeah, it's still tingling, but I'm just gonna finish it. And then I got back on the bar and I finished my routine. And after my routine, it still didn't really feel right. And so I went to the national team doctor and we took some like x-rays. I was really worried when they were looking at it. I was like, I really wanna go to Pan Am's. I've never been there before. Marta came to me and was like, um, I don't want her to lose a chance at World Championships. So I want her to rest, go home, take care of her elbow. Uh, Laurent will go with Madison and you take care of Elisa and um, she'll be, hopefully she'll be ready for selection camp. And she was devastated to miss out, but when I explained to her what Marta said to me, she was like, oh, okay, so I need to look at the bigger picture right now and believe that what she's saying. And uh, I think it felt good, like she wanted to protect her because she wanted her for the bigger one. Right after PNGs, I made the Pan Am team and we left the Sunday right after we competed. I was still competing two events um, just because my ankle, I started training a little bit floor there, but I wasn't gonna be on the team for that. I was just gonna be on the team for Bars and Beam. We started on Bars one day and Beam was the next day, but Bars, I was competing with Ashton, which was pretty much my, probably the biggest competition that I had was just with each other. I hit my routine pretty clean, but I did miss one connection, so it dropped my start value two tenths, which was probably the most reason that I got silver, but I was still pretty, really proud of getting silver because it's a huge accomplishment. And then beam finals, I got fourth, but after that, it made me realize how much I need to work after that just to fix those details so that I could be strong for a world selection camp. Training up into the world selection, it was going pretty well. I had already decided, you know, okay, I have to take some time off my elbow, and then I started coming back from it. Laurent came back for Pan Am's and she started doing bars, and then she had a bad fall and uh, couldn't move uh, her back, her rib. And it was a Tuesday, um, so a week before session camp. And she left practice crying and her mom was like, I think I'm gonna bring her to the yard ER and see because a rib breaks and if it's broken, it's over. I think that was the longest four hours of my life waiting for that x-ray to come back. <laughs> and I was, I was so disappointed. I was like, I can't believe it's gonna be over with, with this. It can't be, it can't be. She's worked way too hard to do something like this. And um, she, she thought it was over too. And um, her mom texted me, she's like, we'll be in the gym in an hour, not telling me anything. <laughs> so we met her and she's like, he says it's not broken, but she can't move. I was thinking, are you serious, another injury? I was like, oh my gosh, I'm just trying to make it to the camp. But I was like, okay, I've dealt with problems before and I can deal with them again now. And we took two full days of nothing, so. Um, and her mom was like, how's she gonna be ready for section camp? I was like, honestly, I don't know, but if she wants to be ready, she'll be ready. She came back Friday doing her little things there and there, and Saturday she did almost full routine everywhere, and uh, Sunday we told her to rest. And then Monday we trained a little bit in the morning, and I actually rode with her to section camp, and she was like, I haven't done that, I haven't done it. I said, listen, you've done it so many times this summer. It's in your head. I think Marla was uh, looking for girls that uh, 
could give 100% uh, of themselves every day, not just when they feel like it. And that's the most important thing of the, this level of gymnastics. It's, uh, you need to, to give the best of yourself on, the, on an everyday basis and uh, to see who could handle that pressure mentally. So the first day, we all started on beam, because at Worlds we're going to start on beam. So Marta wanted to see how the girls were going to do on first event beam. And I think it was actually more stressful than actually World Championships, because it was Marta and two judges and Steve Rybaki, and they were just by the beam, raise your arm, there was not a noise in the gym, everybody looking, you know, one at a time. And she just had said that we hadn't, like the girls hadn't won a, a medal at Pan Am's on beam. And it was an embarrassment. And we had to step up because we're better than that. You know, we win events, but we can't win beam. We have to be able to, to do that. So she, will, she put the pressure on those girls. I made my beam routine, but there's a few wobbles. And I made my floor routine the first day in my vault. In the second day, we showed two events. I showed beam and floor again to show that, because I had some wobbles on the first day of competition, and so on the second day, I showed a little bit more control. Marta definitely wanted to see four events from me. She told me at Pan Am's, at the end of Pan Am's, which I only had like two weeks to work um, back my floor and vault, but my ankle was feeling much better, and so um, she wanted me to do floor and vault so that I could be um, first person up for team qualifications at Worlds. And so she didn't care like how easy my floor team was, um, as long as I could hit it and get a good score for the team to qualify. In vault, we can train with the her wrist. It started hurting more, so we decided to just put together that floor, easy floor. And we said, okay, we're ready three events. And then she asked us, at least do that your Yurchenko full easy vault for the, in the case of somebody injury. She could do this without train. That's, she doesn't need train much to do this vault. But for bars and beam were my stronger events, and so those were the ones that I would be capable of being in team finals with or making it to event finals with. So I hit those as clean as I could and I stuck both my landings on bars for both days and hit both connections. So it was, it was a good feeling after that camp. I knew that I had done everything that I could. We were eating dinner in, at the ranch and Marta walks in with her paper. We're all quiet, we're just staring at her and She's like, she gives a speech about, you know, how well everyone did and it was a really tough decision and then she named the world team and my name was first and that was a relief. <laughs> I was like, yes, I didn't have to worry until the last name. Madison was somewhere in the middle and that was the next name I was looking for so I was like, oh my gosh, we both made it. I can't believe it. Making the world's team with Alyssa was really fun because two girls from the same gym on the same world's team, um, it hasn't really happened that much. So it was nice to have your teammate there with you because she had been through everything that I had been through the same year and all the competitions. So it was fun finally seeing all of our hard work pay off together. But then I was like, oh my gosh, so much hard work to be done now that I've made the team and it's gonna be a long road, but it's gonna be worth it. Have you believed in anything? You risk your whole life to fulfill a dream. <laughs> it's not bad if somebody's better than you. But uh, if you know you can win, just take the win. <laughs>